What's up guys? It is Chains Eats. Now the temperature is really starting to settle in here in Brisbane and what I love about this time of the year is some of the great comfort food that you get to enjoy during the winter months and one of my favourite dishes is a really good slow cook beef rib and today I've got an easy recipe that you can whip up yourself it's a slow cook beef rib with a beautiful red wine sauce on a bed of mashed potato so make sure to stick around because this dish is too delish to miss Simple ingredients, so easy to make, yet packed full of flavour. Coming right up. I've got some beef ribs here that we're going to season with some uh, salt and pepper uh, before we sear our ribs. So just generously add some salt and you want to do this on all sides of our ribs. Got my pan and nice and hot, just going to add a little bit of oil there and pop in our ribs. So you want to sear your beef ribs on all sides for about a, a minute to two minutes on each side uh, just to get that nice golden colour to our beef ribs. So that's a, uh, that's a nice golden colour you're looking for on your ribs. Looking pretty good. Alright, so our ribs are looking pretty good. So uh, we're going to turn the heat off here and pop these to one side, just going to let them sit um, and then we are going to get on to uh, making our red wine sauce. So to make our sauce I've got here some celery that I've just chopped up, uh, I've got some white onion, got some carrot, uh, some chopped up garlic, a couple of bay leaves and a couple of sprigs of uh, some thyme. Um, I'm using some beef stock uh, for my sauce and then just some uh, red wine. Uh, now you don't have to go out and buy an expensive bottle of red wine. Um, uh, it could be the cheapest red wine that you can find. Uh, just one that's got some uh, real good uh, full body to that red wine like Cab Sav or Merlot. Uh, I'm using just some uh, Merlot for uh, our sauce today. So, all right, so I've got our pan on, nice and hot. Now, the uh, leftover oils that we have from uh, searing our beef stock, I'm not going to waste those uh, juices, so I'm just going to add that in to our pan here. And we're going to hit our pan with our onion. Just give that a mix. So this part guys is where you want to take uh, your time uh, cooking out your onion because the longer you cook out your onion it's going to start to release its natural sweetness from the onion. Uh, this is going to um, add uh, more flavor to your sauce. So um, you want to cook these until they really become caramelized. So our onions are starting to get that nice golden colour to them and they've softened a bit too. So I'm now just going to add in our celery and our carrot. Really want uh, those carrots to become uh, a bit soft and um, they, will, they will tend to be uh, sweet as well. So this is also going to um, add uh, more flavour to your red wine sauce. Okay, so I'm just going to add in our garlic now. Our carrot. 
carrot and celery are starting to soften a bit now so we'll just continue to cook this a little bit more for a few more minutes okay so our veggies have softened pretty good so I'm just going to add in a couple of heat spoons of just some tomato paste and you just want to mix that all through now you also want to cook out your uh, tomato paste um, for a few minutes just to uh, get rid of the, the rawness of the tomato paste okay, I'm now going to add in our red wine this is also going to deglaze our pan get rid of all those flavors that stuff on the bottom of our pan here and you want to bring this to the boil and you want to slightly reduce uh, and cook off your wine cook off the alcohol um, just so that uh, you're not left with a slightly bitter uh, taste from, uh, in your sauce from the, the alcohol. Uh, I've got a couple of sprigs of uh, thyme that I'm adding in and a couple of bay leaves as well. Just get them all nicely snugged in there. Okay, I'm going to add in our beef stock. Now you could use chicken stock, veal stock is also good, but I've only just got beef stock here so I'm going to be using beef stock. Just enough stock to cover your beef ribs. Alright guys, so our um, sauce is coming up to the boil now, so let's just reduce that down to a simmer and we're going to pop our lid on and we're going to check up on our uh, beef ribs uh, probably another couple of hours so you want it to slow cook uh, for about two hours maybe two and a half hours a few moments later all right guys let's have a look here Ooh, look at those beef ribs now that sauce has reduced quite a bit and you've got that nice dark rich color to our sauce and uh, I reckon those ribs are pretty pretty good to go. So we're going to remove our beef ribs out of our uh, pan. We're going to set them to one side and we're going to finish off our sauce to glaze our beef ribs. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I've just got a strainer here. I'm just going to pour our sauce into our strainer because we want to get rid of all the carrots and uh, so just push all the sauce through our sieve here. Okay guys, I'm just going to pop in our sauce now. And we're just going to bring the temperature up on our sauce. And it is at this point where you want to season your sauce to your liking. Now I'm actually going to add in uh, just a, a knob of butter here uh, to our sauce and this is just going to give a little bit of a richness to our sauce here. Alright guys, I think our sauce is good to go. Uh, time to plate up this dish. Pop on our beef rib guys on our bed of mashed potato and now Let's just drizzle some of that beautiful red wine sauce. Alright guys, let's check out this beef. Oh, look at that. Just pulls away. That is looking beautiful, nice and tender. Alright, let's give this a try. Mm. Super tender meat. 
and just that combination of the uh, rich red wine sauce and that mashed potato oh it's a match made in heaven that is absolutely delish mm. so good make sure to check out the ingredients i've listed down below in the description box guys so that you can make this beautiful beef rib recipe slow cooked in a red wine sauce it is absolutely delish now if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button we are almost there guys 500 subscribers so make sure if you haven't already and you're watching this video even for the first time make sure to support my channel by clicking the link down below and hit that noti bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video thanks for watching another video here on james eats guys until next time i will see you guys in the next video